This is a special presentation of Manny Pacquiao's Blow by Blow. Any other use of materials, photos, and accounts without MP Promotions consent is strictly prohibited. Previously, Mandala, on Manny Pacquiao presents Blow but, uh, by Blow. It will go down as a majority draw. Omak Mandala, neither fighter winning, neither fighter losing. Tabla po ang decision ng ating mga judges. As you take a look at the highlights of this uh, fight, no knockdown scored and uh, sporadic uh, punching by both these fighters. A lot of misses by Oma. Good defense by Mondala. And uh, on occasion when Mondala wanted to engage, he was able to score the cleaner shot, which is why I thought that he might have deserved the position. But maybe the majority draw was fair for both these fighters. Okay, wala pong panalo, wala pong natalo. Manuri po ulit natin yung highlights ng uh, laban na to, Christian Gagarin versus uh, Lawrence Dumamag. A fight that ended in a technical draw. Round one, may bumagsak po dito. And uh, yung po si... Uh, Gagarin and Bumagsak, he got hit with a left and then a right hand and he went down in the first round. And then in the second round, ito naman, it was the turn of uh, Dumamag to go down. Ayun, Bumagsak si uh, Dumamag. And in the third round, naputukan si Gagarin and it ended up uh, being stopped because of an accidental headbutt. So it will go to... The record books as a technical draw. Wala pong manalo, wala pong natalo. And uh, that's it. That is the outcome. A technical draw. Dumam Ag and Christian Gagarin. scheduled for 10 rounds in the bantamweight division, a battle of two unbeaten fighters with excellent records. Kenneth Llover of the Peñarosa Boxing Stable of Libis, Quezon City. Ang kalaban po niya, Benny Cañete, Omega Boxing Stable, Cebu City. And let's take a look at the tail of the tape. 21 years old po si Llover. Si Cañete, 23 years old. A little uh, height uh, advantage for Llover. Both of them are left-handers. Taga General Trias Cavite po, si Llover. Taga Mandawa City, si Benny Cañete. And now, let's turn you over to our ring announcer, Bobby Mondejar. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the fighter coming out of the dugout, Benny Cañete. Introducing the next fighter coming out of the dugout, Kenneth Llover. Ladies and gentlemen, Manny Pacquiao presents Blow by Blow, 
in partnership with San Miguel Beer Pale Pilsen here at Barangay oh, Mauay Executive oh, Sports Complex, oh, Mandaluyong City. In coordination with Barangay Captain Bernie Evangelista and Mayor Benjamin Abalos. No, no. All professional boxing bouts are under the regulations and su supervision of the Games and Amusements Board. GAB Chairman Attorney Richard Clarin, Chief of Boxing and Other Contact Sports Division, Ms. Jackie Lu Cacho Ornido, Ring Physician Dr. Jose Rolando Rivera, and Official Timekeeper. Miss Hazel Mationg. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a San Miguel Beer main event. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Fighting Out of the Blue Corner. He weighed in at 116 pounds. He has a record of seven wins. No loss. Six wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Omega Boxing Stable, Cebu City. Ladies and gentlemen, Benny Caniete. Caniete. Right across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 117 pounds. He has a record of seven wins, no loss. Five wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Peñalosa Boxing Stable, Libis Quezon City. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenneth Llover, the lover boy. Judges at ringside, Alianete Laneta, Danilo Lopez, Engineer Greg Ortega. Third man in the ring, referee Silvestre Abainza. This will be 10 rounds of professional boxing. Okay, so many events, San Miguel. Gusto ko sport lang to ha. Tandaan nyo yung ulo nyo, huwag yung ano yung tuhat. Pag suntok mo ba sa belt, ito, dito, okay. Pag mawa dito, sa blow blow. Walang susunok sa likuran, ha? Maliwanag? Up, up, up. Touch glove. Okay. Good luck. Undefeated po si Kenneth Llover at 7-0. Five knockouts. Two of them coming inside the first round from the Peñalosa stable. Pareho pong kaliwete itong mga lalaban ngayon. Scheduled for 10, si Benny Cañete. 7-1 on record niya with six knockouts. Two of those coming in the first round. Both of them are power punches. So you can expect fireworks sa laban na to. Si Kenneth Gilbert, siya po yung uh, naka white trunks with uh, the blue and green print. While... Uh, Si Kenyatta naman is with the flaming uh, red trunks with the Omega brand on his waistband. And turning around there after missing a shot is Benny Kanyete. Interesting that both these fighters are southpaws. Very wide-eyed Sikanete. He's looking to inflict some damage. Yerun Densin Jover. Both of them are big shot artists. They're fighting in the bantamweight division. The crowd roaring. 
the attack of Kenneth Kevin is clearly the crowd favorite Salaban. Rivera Bainza cautioning both fighters. Watch their heads. There's a slight opening in the stance to Benny Cañete. You see he's lowering his uh, right hand, looking to throw the jab. And when he does, bumumbuka ang kanyang defensa. Rivera is probably studying that, looking to take advantage of the opening. Shot foot movement from both these fighters. Haraparapan sila. Kanyete pulling with that right hand. Rivera sporadically attacking. Still no consistency in the attacks from either fighter. Round number one in the corner of Kenneth Lover, Jonathan Peñalosa, a former world championship uh, challenger, and Jay Naz. And over at uh, Benny Cañete's corner, we've got Julius Hunlo as his trainer. There's suspense in the air. There's tension. Ito po sa Barangay Mauway Executive Sports Complex. We see our round girls. We see the fans who have come out to watch these contests brought to you by Manny Pacquiao Presents. Blow by blow in partnership with San Miguel Pale Pilsen. Benny Cañete. You see him on your screens against Kenneth Lover. Round two coming up. Fighters just waiting to explode. But also, both fighters showing a lot of respect for each other. Not taking any chances. Paso good si Lover, pero he quickly steps out of the way just in case ma counter. Shani Benny Cañete. Right lead is uh, Lover. So a little movement connection there by uh, Benny Cañete near the ropes. Probing with that uh, right hand is uh, Lover going to the body. No damage inflicted. A lot of fainting, a lot of faking by both these fighters just waiting for each other to make a mistake and then they will capitalize oh, that, shot the that caught the attention of Cañete for sure right hand rocking the head of Benny Cañete Lover's arms held up high protecting his head Keeping a good defensive stance. A little bit of footwork here, side to side movement by Lover. Moving again, laterally, just staying away from Cañete's strike zone. And then he moves close, throwing a combination to the body. Walang, uh, Response coming from Cañete. Magalaw si uh, Lover. Cañete wants a standing target. He has no standing target. Magalaw masyado si uh, Kenneth Lover. Right hand. Can I 
natin that time. Going through the defense again. Yung napapansin natin, no? Nakababa yung kanyang kamay ni Benny Cañete. So that is an opportunity for Llover to strike. May opening siya. of the round that's two rounds down now then you can get on your screens trying to figure out uh, how to penetrate the defense and you can't go there. Punch of the round, not it. Brought to you by San Miguel Pale Pilsen. Edging right hand, thrown by Jover. Rocking the head back of uh, Benny Cañete. And Cañete trying to retaliate with a swinging right hand. Getting instructions now from his cornerman. And some more action here from uh, the previous round in slow-mo. See the right hand connected there by uh, Kenneth Llover. He's been able to connect the cleaner shots. Benny Cañete, kailangan magpakita ng konting uh, aggressiveness dito. No? Got it chances. Magalaw yung kanyang uh, kalaban. Naglalateral, sa side to side. He's got to stop him in his tracks. Put some pressure. Para makakuha siya ng standing target for him to unload his big punch. Round three na po tayo. Still no continuity in the offense of either fighter. Nice shot by uh, Cañete. That was a shot to the body. And then he unloaded with a shot to the head. Javier coming right back. Crowd roaring. Both fighters inflicting punishment. Nasa bandang kanto si Javier. That's where Kenyatta wants it. to come in it's as if uh, he's saying pasok ka at meron akong uh, ipapakita sa'yo again the bear is over at the corner and then kakapit siya the bear is playing a smart fight at this point he's luring his baiting Cañete to do exactly what he wants Big shots being thrown there by Cañete to the side of the body in Llover. Again, Llover just circling his uh, opponent, moving away from harm's way. Jover is positioning himself in the corner. He's influencing yung galaw ni Cañete. Pinapapasok niya. And he's waiting to counter. Then the long uh, right jab coming from Jover. Varying his punches, then going to the left straight. And that's round three. Down now. Seven more to go. We're scheduled for ten in the bantamweight division. It's a good one. Dito po sa Paragay Mauway Executive Sports Complex. Fans appreciating the action, witnessing 
the fights as they uh, unravel. Blow by blow, this is the third iteration of this program. And it's back in a big way. Here is the 8th Division World Champion, Manny Pacquiao. Witnessing uh, the action is this uh, big size crowd at the Executive Sports Complex. And Mandalorian City Mayor Benjamin Abalos is with us. Round number four. He wants to narrow that distance. He's moving closer. Third band in the ring, Vera Bainza, an international referee licensed by the World Boxing Association. This is not and Javier is binding his time. He's playing a very patient game. He's striking when there's an opportunity. He's moving away when wala siyang uh, pagkakataon to be able to strike. Magandang strategy dito ni Javier. Caniente is forced to react and he's not able to establish any sort of control sa laban. Keeping uh, Caniente guessing. Kuminsan, he throws that right jab. Then he goes to the left straight. Then he throws a combination. And Caniente doesn't know what kind of defense to show to stop Llover uh, from connecting with those punches. But he has to put pressure. No doubt, he has to be aggressive. Napakabayaan ni Caniente for Llover to dictate the pace. He's got to go strong. He's got a pressure. And he's got to throw punches. Very passive, very inactive. Si Caniente Rito. And for every mistake that Javier makes, when he misses, Caniente has to be on top of the situation immediately. It is in the lip. A low blow yata si uh, Llover. And uh, referee Vera Bainza is going to give him some time to recover from that uh, punch. Okay, looks like it's okay for the action to resume. That might have uh, connected with a nice shot to the head there as the round ended. But that's it for round number four. Jover has been able to control the action so far and putting Benny Cañete on the defensive. Punch of the round not in, brought to you, brought to you by San Miguel Pale Pilsen. Watch it again. There's the counter right hand coming from uh, Llover, and that's a punch of the round. Coming up now is round number five. Still tension in the air. 
Guerrero has been dictating, but Cañeta remains a very dangerous opponent. Benny Cañete fighting out of the Omega stable than Cebu. Only 22 years old. Right hand scored by Lover. And then the left. Retaliation coming from uh, Benny Cañete. Lover is catching Cañete off guard. He's being very unpredictable sa kanyang opensa. Di malaman ni Cañete kung saan mga galing ng opensa. Paano ba? Kaliwa. Ito. Nahit kit ang kapit ni Lover. And for Cañete, he's got to turn this to a brawl. There's no doubt about it. That's the way he has to win. Turn it to, to a brawl. Force Lover into a slugfest. That's a second low blow called on Benny Cañete. Another one might uh, result in a point deduction. Getting a little frustrated si Benny Cañete. Makita natin kung ano nangyari dito. There, yun. Low blow. Dalawa yun. Again, side to side movement, assume discipline in Gover to go lateral and then throw punches in combinations, throwing that uh, right jab. Now Cañeta is trying to pressure. Masyado magalaw yung kalaban, so he's got to be able to step into the tracks ni Gover. Anticipate kung saan siya pupunta. Ano, talagang frustrated now. Tatapad ang... Uh, ng suntok na nakayuko si Lover. At sabi nga nila, no, he has to cut the wind off from Lover. Well, so dali, anong gagawa ni Lover? He held him on the leg. That's an infraction. Sabi naman ni Lover, Abanza, go, 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 continue. A lot of holding going on now. You can see that Cañeta is really trying to turn this into a slam fest, into a ball. And Cañeta is even reacting to the chance of the crowd by holding up his arm and flicking his, uh, his fist. He's looking very frustrated at this, at this point. Dinadala ni Gover ang laban eh. At hindi makaporma si... And there's a shot connected by Lover. Not a good round for Cañete at all. Cañete appears to be reacting to the chance of the crowd. He should block his focus from what he hears from the crowd and just concentrate on hitting his opponent. Lover is winning the mind game. He's controlling the action with his movement. Magadakanyang discipline. Throwing the left, the right jab out of his southpaw stance. And then going with a combination. Ito, nakatama pa siya noon ng uh, kaliwa on the way out on his back foot. But this fight is far from over. Although Lover has been able to get the better of the exchanges and has been in cruise control of this fight. Malayo pa to. We're entering round number six. And we're just at the halfway mark. Sinasabihan sila ni referee Vera Bainza to just keep fighting. There's a lot of holding going on. And I'm sure there was also a warning about low blows. Round six na po tayo.
big problem of uh, Pogente is that when he comes in, he throws just one punch. He's got to throw them in combination to put uh, Llover on the defensive. So he didn't si Llover, he's able to counter. At that time, when they combination, he's going to Llover. Again, papasok si Cañete, but he's got to throw more than just one punch to put Llover in his uh, back foot. Shot inside the body by Cañete, but Llover quickly countering, retaliating. It's an accidental headbutt. Accidental headbutt again. Go. damage either way. Cañete scoring with the right. Again, yung varying punches ni Jover. Kumisan sa kaliwa ng gagaling, kumisan sa kanan. And, uh, ang depensa ni uh, Cañete, he just kept guessing. Cañete throwing that uh, right jab na walang, hindi naman tumama, except the gloves of uh, Jover. Jover again. Breaking out of his shell, throwing a combination. Where's Kenyatta? Looking to attack. He's got to pin him down. There's the end of that round. Again, boom, what kind of ni Cañete because that right hand is going down. So he's a sucker for the left hand, galing kay uh, Llover. Whether it's a left straight or a left hook. That has been consistently finding the mark. Round number seven coming up. Good fight so far. Punch of the round, not in. Brought to you by San Miguel Pale Tilson. There's the shot, a counter coming from Jover, the right hand. There's a shot to the body by uh, Cañete, pero pililikan siya kaagad ni Jover with the right hand. So we've had some good exchanges in this fight. He's got to step it up. We're talking of Cañete. And uh, that's the support group of Kenneth Lover. Dito po sa Mandaluyong. And the referee Vera Benza, Benza again talking to both fighters. I'm sure reminding them. Stop the headbutting. Stop the holding. Stop the low blows. Let's just keep it clean. Is not rushing. If he intends to pressure Jover, he's got to go full blast and full steam ahead. Coming in by Jover, he's getting beaten to the punch. And this fight is not a lost cause for Cañete, but he's got to do a lot more than what he's showing. Ito, shots to the body. Apahawak dun si Jover. Uh, might have been a low blow. Might have been a low blow. I thought I saw a low blow, but I 
Walang tawag doon na paano ka kung ikaw ng Banza. So, you gotta keep on. You gotta keep on. You don't just stop fighting on your own volition. Okay, nakita natin na si Cangete nasa harap na siya. Nilo Bell, pero hindi pa siya sumusuntok. He's got a rush in. When he's on the attack, Roberto always has the answer to tie him up. A clubbing blow there scored by Cañede from close distance. The crowd roaring. They're liking the action. I think if either fighter scores a knockdown, in this fight, this crowd is going to go bananas. And daming trabaho dito. Referee Vera Bainza keeping the fighters apart. And now Gilbert is on the attack. He's throwing combinations. Cañete trying to regroup. There's another accidental headbutt. Hey. Looks like there's damage accidental on Gilbert. Oh, at this stage of the fight, if it's stopped because of an accidental headbutt, you go to the scorecards. And there's a ringside position. Dr. Jose Rivera saying, okay, okay, I can hear him say okay. the end of the round now. And there's a cut over the right eye. He cannot go there. That's a big one. It's a, it's a nasty slice but it's on the forehead. Pakita po natin ang punch of the round natin. There's a one-two combination and scoring with the left hand as well as the right is Jover. The cut is being attended to now by the cornerman of uh, Kenneth Jover. There's the accidental headbutt. Yun, pagpatsa kay Jover, asalubong siya ni Cañete. Heads colliding, that was an accidental headbutt. On the forehead. So, not on the eyebrow, it's not on the eyelid. It's on the forehead of Kenneth Jover. Round number eight, tapu tayo. Right now, Jover is content to just uh, pack shooting. Whenever Benny Cañete comes dangerously close, aakap at aakap si Jover. So he's fighting the smart fight here. Again, the lateral movement in Jover is just keeping uh, Cañete off balance and unsteady. Again, the discipline of keeping his hands up, preventing any damage and ducking the punch from Cañete. Rivera on the attack. Connecting with a lot of punches now on uh, Benny Cañete. He's taking him to school right now. Shot, a left hand right in the jaw of Benny Cañete. 
again, it's that porous portion of the defense ni Cañete. Nababa ka niyang uh, kanan na kamay, kanya tinatamaan siya ng kaliwa. Ni Jover. That right side is wide open for the left hook. Ni Kenneth Jover. And that's been connected. And moving away is Kenneth Jover using the expanse of the ring. Lateral movement. Less than a minute to go in this round. Ganyetes just flexing his uh, punches, making the motion of trying to attack, but he's not throwing. He's got to be busier. Papasok siya, pero siya naman ang tatamaan. It's been a long night here for Benny Cañete. And look at the way Javier is starting in and out. He's put uh, Cañete on the defensive. A big round again for... Kenneth Javier. Looks like that cut has been controlled by the corner of Kenneth Javier. As you see, his chief second, Jonathan Peñalosa, giving him instructions. They're not even attending to that cut any longer. Although I think they need to. Punch of the round. Brought to you by San Miguel Pale Pilsen. Oh, nice shot. The left hand right in the jaw of Benny Cañete. There you go. A precise punch scored by Kenneth Jover. Round number nine coming up. We're almost coming to a climax. That's a lot of uh, Vaseline and uh, pomade. They need to wipe off the face of uh, Kenneth Rivera. And here we go, round number nine. Benny Cañete must be desperate at this point. He's got to take the fight to Jover. If he wants to win this, he's got to take chances. He's got to move in, do what he can to score a knockout. Land the big blow. He can do it. He's a big puncher. He's got six knockouts and seven wins. Now we hit him in the back. Hit him below the belt. Now coach, uh, rather referee Vera Bainza, he's not buying into any delaying tactics of either fighter. If he doesn't see the low blow, he's not going to call it. And action must continue. Tama lang. Left hand thrown there by uh, Gover. The power of uh, Benny Cañete appears to be ebbing here. He's trying to score a big home run. Gover just moving away. Then Jover is just uh, holding on. But I need him to talk to Benny Cañete. And look at him. Still teeing off. 
connecting with that left hand. Oh, big pump scored by Cañete. Again, he remains to be a dangerous fighter. It's the last ounce of energy that he needs to expend to try to turn this fight around. Rivera continuing to rain punches from different angles. Just a masterful performance by Kenneth Rivera, the undefeated fighter from the Peñalosa stable. Again, a right hand scored by Kenneth Jover, and he will follow it up with a left hand. Too many punches scored here by Jover. The volume is clearly his advantage. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to exchange that way, but Jover just wants to give the fans a treat. Kenneth Lluver, 7-0, five knockouts, two in the first round. With General Trias Cavite. It's his first 10-round fight in a career that started March of 2020. Oh, look at that punch. When Benny Cañente thought that the right hand was gonna be thrown, biglang yung, yung kaliwa ang pumasok at tumama. This is the last round of this fight. Our San Miguel Beer main take event. Penny Cañete, under fire of a mega stable Cebu. Kenneth Llover has been in control of the Peñalosa stable of Libis, Quezon City. Anything can happen in a 10th round. Cañete has a big punch, but so does Llover. Let's see what happens. Last three minutes of this encounter. Cañete has to be desperate. He's got to move in. Step inside. Block, block the angles. But it's Lover who's connecting. And Lover is going in for the kill. He wants to end this with a flourish. Kenneth Lover. Benny Cañete's hey. mouth open, hey. Hey. gasping for air. Jover trying to put an exclamation mark to this masterful performance. Hey. And continuing to beat Benny Cañete to the punch. swinging away desperately, looking for that one home run to score the victory. But he's running out of time, he's running out of ammunition, and running out of stamina. Hey. Kenneth Lover looking to hang on to score a victory. And continuing to connect. Kenneth Javier must be wary of Cañete scoring a wild punch coming from nowhere. So he's got to be careful. Lapit up atapis ito laban. And look at the smirk in the face of Lover. He feels he's got this all wrapped up. Seconds to go. Second clock warning. Here we go. Oh, big punch scored there by Lover. 
As I said, he wants to end this with a flourish. And that's it. The fight has ended. And the crowd is roaring. Benny Gagnete put up a fight, but he just didn't have the right kind of moves to stop Jover in his tracks. Benny Gagnete is being lifted by his cornerman, but it's very clear that Kenneth Jover did more than enough to win this fight on points. He's gonna walk away with the unanimous decision. No doubt about it. Kenneth Jover and his fans are celebrating, waiting for the uh, announcement to make it official. Team Jover, nice looking uniforms they're all wearing. Kenneth Jover looking to keep his record untarnished. 7-0, ang kanyang record with five knockouts. Ring announcer Bobby Mandahar will be momentarily announcing the decision of the judges. And let's look at the, the punch of the round. That was a big one, a right hand going through. And you know, we said earlier, the unpredictability the uh, Kenneth Lover, you don't know where these punches are coming from. Right side, left side. Alam natin yung weakness ni Kanyete, yung kanyang uh, right side kasi binababa niya yung kanyang kanan na kamay. Oh, giving an opening for the left hand ni uh, Kenneth Lover. But it was a, uh, I thought it was a tactical fight. And that's how Lover wanted it to play it. Made it the tactical fight, very strategic. Didn't want to turn it into a brawl, which is what Benny Cagnetta wanted. Lover controlled the action, the tempo he dictated. A sound advice coming from Jonathan Peñalosa. And the fans are now crowding the ring, anticipating the decision on who will win. Not just si Benny Cagnete, a little bit forlorn as his uh, gloves are being taken off his hands. He doesn't have quite the amount of support group that uh, Lover has. Pero I'm sure pag lumalaban si Benny Cagnete sa Cebu, he'll have that home crowd support. A gesture of sportsmanship on the part of uh, Benny Cagnetta as he bows to his opponent, bows to the crowd, bows to the ring officials, and he's flashing a wide grin. It was a good fight, very good fight. Let's hear the After final decision. After rounds of boxing, we have a winner. We'll go to the scorecards. Here are the scores of the three judges. Al Llaneta scored it 98. 92. Judge Engineer Greg Ortega scored it 96 94. Judge Danilo Lopez scored it 96 94. We have a unanimous decision and the winner, Kenneth Lover, the lover boy. And there it is. And the report. A winner by unanimous decision, Kenneth Jover, well-deserved victory. One judge, Al Danita, had it a wide margin, 98 to 92. Two other judges, 96 and 94. But it was very clear that he deserved the victory. Kenneth Jover dictated the tempo, controlled the action, turned it into a tactical fight, and he won the battle. Benny Gagnete, as his work cut out for him, Got to know how to pressure his opponent, cut the ring off, stay aggressive, throw punches in punches. But Kenneth Lover, this was his fight. This was his night. Congratulations to Kenneth Lover for a win by unanimous decision. And he remains unbeaten, improving his record to 8-0 with five knockouts.